Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. I will start this video with one question. Have you ever found something on eBay that was so cheap that you bought it without a second thought? Well, this is exactly what happened with me when I found this power supply for my Canon Cybershot camera that I used to take photos for my website. I was searching around for a power supply to replace the rechargeable batteries and to have always my camera ready on the fly. When I received the item, it looked as a normal power supply, except from the fact that it was very light, but I didn't really pay any attention. So immediately I plugged it in. The first thing that I noticed was that sometimes, when the cable was moved, the camera crashed. Moreover, the camera would not turn on unless the cable was disconnected and connected back again. Ok, I said, for $4.99 this is not a big deal and so I learned to live with that. Some days ago I was experimenting with a software that I prepare for PIC microcontrollers. So I had a breadboard with a PIC and an LCD for prototyping. Then. I felt like sending a short video to a friend of mine to show him the progress of the software. Instead of taking the video with my JVC Handycam, I used my Canon as a quicker solution. And then things turned really strange. I noticed that when I was holding the camera with my right hand and I was approaching the wires on the breadboard with my left hand, the peak went nuts. When I was not holding the camera, the peak worked just fine. In short, I discovered that the problem was not from the camera but from the adapter itself. When I was powering the camera with normal battery cells, I had absolutely no interference. My next move was to connect the adapter to my oscilloscope to see what's going wrong. Amazing! So I opened the case to see what was hidden inside and what I found was exactly what I paid for, a cheap power supply. Some parts were missing, some other parts were added right before packaging and some other parts like these filtering inductors over here were replaced with the, the theoretical model of an inductor. The soldering work is generally good with a uh, uh, ok, ok, I can do better soldering than this, blindfold holding the soldering iron with my feet. The parts on the PCB are thrown from players playing darts and some of them did not find the target 100%. From a quick look, I spot something like a bridge rectifier here, a smoothing capacitor, some kind of a transistor oscillator, a current amplifier, some resistors, some capacitors, some diodes. Now on the output circuit uh, there is only one diode, probably salvaged from an old World War II Panzer IV tank to rectify the signal, some kind of uh, voltage feedback to the input circuit and a 1000 microfarad capacitor and I had to replace this capacitor to make the power supply work much better. So the next time that you find something really, really cheap before you beat thing. How cheap is it?